Hello my darlings. I've got my healing frequency on again for Teddy and Mia actually. Um, so you're going to hear the big buzzing sound in the background. Sorry about that but I have it on at least three times a day. Um, 580 kilohertz is supposed to eradicate and break up particular cells that um, create malignancy or something. I don't know. I'm just playing it. I'm just playing it. Thank you for your lovely comments for our little Rome trip and my little previous life revisiting there. I've been there before um, in 1452. <laughs> no, I have been there before a few years back, but I did it again because I wanted to do it with Darren and it was a surprise for his birthday anyway. So um, it leads me to this question, which was added um, on how do you know if you've had a past life? Very interesting. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is you mostly have a past life if you have got a really tough life this time round. Um, the older your soul gets, the harder your incarnations become here because you choose more human experiences and usually they're related to trauma or struggle, don't ask me why, health issues, um, because the lighter we become, the older souls we become, we don't sit in our meat suits very well. Um, so you would, you know if you're an old soul, I think you just know you're an old soul, you feel like you've been here before, you know, and you see children and babies you think they're old souls because they look straight in the eyes and you, you kind of know that you've had a previous life in that respect. Um, so take it as given that you've had a previous life. Luckily, I've I've been shown three of mine and I recall them and I know why I'm certainly attracted to certain things. So I'll do it my way personally and then, I'll, and then you'll understand. First of all, um, religion is man-made. I've got absolutely no time for religion whatsoever. It's full of wrath and sin and if you don't do this, you do that. It's all control and pants basically. Sorry um, to those. I'm not being anti-religious at all. Um, I'm just saying that's my opinion. I just don't agree with it. And when you look at the angels involved in each religion, they've all got very similar names. It's all the same story, basically. Um, just a few different rules and regulations. Um, so I'm really not not connected to religion at all. Um, obviously, my dad's side were spiritualist. My mum's side were Catholic, right? So... I've got this, even though I'm not religious, I've got this massive, massive connection to churches. I just, I can't even tell you what it's about. I just have to go to, if there's like cathedrals, churches, like we were next to the cathedral at Christmas. I was like, oh my God, I was just emotional. I didn't want to leave. And I was sitting in front of an altar, just absolutely got a thing about them. My granddad, who was a very powerful medium, um, gave me some rosary rosaries that he got from the Vatican um, that he used used to have with him for house clearances and any negative um, entities that he was dealing with, very rare. And he gave me those and I, when I hold them, it's just, I don't know, I feel really weird about it. Um, so basically what I'm trying to say is, is that if you have an unusual likening for something, it's like a lady, I walked into a house once and went, wow, you so had a previous life in Egypt. And she goes, oh my God, I just can't get enough of it. I keep having to go there and I have to keep, you know, having all the things around me. So generally you will have an unusual affection or an unusual obsession for a certain era in time, which you will mostly surround yourself with stuff from that era. Um, and so it's like my last incarnation, I'm still trying to grab hold of it. I think I was a medic in it, but um, I, it was quite a quick turnaround actually, which was the Second World War. I am so connected to it. I can't even tell you, but without rambling on, what I'm trying to say is, is that you will basically have a complete connection to an era and you'll surround yourself with stuff from that era, you know, and when I see people like dress as teddy boys or I see someone, you know, like loves Victorian stuff, like, oh, you so got a previous life from there. So that's how you know you've got a previous life. Also, you can go to a past life regression list who um, will take you back to any previous lives that are relevant. Some of them you may have to deal with in this life um, to re-experience something that you didn't quite do well in that one. Also, you may have dreams where you... I had a recurring dream of one particular incarnation um, back in the Victorian times and I kept getting the dream time and time and time again. It wasn't until I found where I was... It's so another previous life. I should do book and previous life. Um, they all stopped. Um, so, yeah, you may have dreams about a place that you've never been to. Um, when you go there, like I did the first time I went to Rome, I literally just 
broke down in tears. I knew everywhere I was going. If, you, if you've read my book, Me, Myself and I, I talk about how I meet Julianus, my spirit guide, and he takes me back to 1452 Chesterfield, Rome. Um, and when I went there the first time round to, to prove he existed, Jesus, I was on the floor. The nuns were around me because I was like crying my eyes out, really emotional. Um, so, and I knew exactly where I was going in the Vatican, knew exactly where I was going. I just knew everywhere. Um, and it was really surreal. It's really kind of weird because you've been to a place you've never been to in your life and you know everything and it's all familiar and you almost feel different. It's really weird. You just feel really different. So that's saying you now you've got a previous life. Is there anything that you're obsessed with that really there's no reason for? Do you surround yourself with things from a certain era? Do you have recurring dreams? Do you have now and then deja vus or feelings of a place that you long to be be um, but you've, there's no reason you've never been there before these are all signs from previous lives i would definitely recommend a past life regressionist if you ask me about one i've not got a clue i don't know any past life regressionists um because they kind of show me mine when i need to be shown them um but yeah look for them look for reputable ones um and let me know how you get on or if you have found past lives yeah comment on here if you've like discovered a past life and then gone and visited like I did I shit myself to be fair because I'm thinking oh my god if this is all wrong then where do I go from there what if I turn up and there's no Trastevere there's no St Cecilia's there's no Pope Nicholas V like that was over the diocese at that time and I was like I was really like really scared it was all going to be wrong and just made up when I got there and then everything just went dunk, dunk, dunk. I was like oh my god happy days Anyway, um, that's all you know about previous life. Thanks for asking me the question. I'm afraid your name hasn't come up. Oh, yes, it has. It's a user, blah, 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 loads of numbers. Anyway, thank you for asking the question. Keep them coming. I just want to say very quickly, massive, massive thank you. Oh, my God. I came back to 2,000 emails when I got back from Rome um, because of a podcast I did with Jeff Mara. And just internationally, it's like being back in my hey heyday again. So thank you for your support and love and um, I'm just going to shut up now.